my Faith Hill moment. <laughs> You know, she went on Oprah and she said, oh, Carrie Underwood's great, but she didn't really say, oh, I lost my shit, I forgot the camera was there. Um, but you know, I always wanted to be that person that did something horribly inappropriate and <laughs> shit. But anyway, so, so... Oh, by the way, did you guys see that YouTube of Faith Hill yelling at the woman in the audience at the concert? They have this footage of this woman grabbing, in the audience, grabbing Tim McGraw's jock like that. And then, the best part is beautiful, angelic Faith Hill got fucking ghetto on her ass. Yeah. Yeah. This kiss, this kiss, don't feel that, that's disrespectful. This kiss, this kiss, it was scary. So, the best she's gonna take her weave off and take her shoes off and fucking go spring her on her, you know what I mean? But, you know, my four friends thought it was funny, and that's what life's about, right? So, so this year, I thought, I've got to plan something big when I lose, and I've got to do it on stage, or else nobody's going to really see it. So, so sure enough, the show's going on and on and on, and I talked to all my friends, and I said, what do you think would be funny? And then I thought it was funny if when they announced that Extreme Home Makeover won, I ran up on stage as if I thought I won. <laughs> And then I started crying and gave a speech and thanked my second grade teacher. And, uh, and then grabbed the Emmy and went back to my seat. And I would just sit there with it until, um, well, I didn't really think it through. But <laughs> until security took me to Emmy jail or whatever happened. But I was so proud of this bit that I swear to God, I purposely bought like really chunky heeled shoes. And the whole show, I'm sitting in the front row like fucking Flojo like this. <laughs> chance of winning. I mean, I probably won't, but if I win, I should plan something really shocking and scandalous and put myself on the map. And so, sure enough, I called a couple friends of mine because one thing I can't do to save my life is I can't write a one-liner. Like, I can't write, like, a ba bum shh joke. You know what I mean? I tell these long stories and stuff. So, I called a couple friends of mine who work on Simpsons, and then I called a friend of mine who works on that Jamie Lynn Spears show, Zoe 101. <laughs> Show, and he's the one who wrote the speech I got in trouble for. 